massive house fire. Good evening, I'm Brandon Bartlett. Watson Strong was the theme today in Muhlenberg County. A large crowd packed into a high school auditorium to hear from Chad Watson, who spoke publicly about that fire for the very first time. Jess Rates was there for us. She has more in tonight's top story. When it seemed as if the world couldn't get much worse, the people of Muhlenberg County were there. I've never been ashamed to be from Muhlenberg County, but I've never been more proud to be from Muhlenberg County. The same people who were there at the very start joined together again today, just wearing a different t-shirt. Hundreds gathered right here today to hear Chad Watson tell his side of the story and to remember the nine lives lost in that fire and celebrate the two survivors. And as the chairs filled up and the songs of praise began, it wasn't easy. When everything falls apart. And it shouldn't have been. And when you feel you can't go on, just raise your hand and say. But to hear Chad speak so candidly about his kids. To see each of them healthy, vibrant, willing to pursue the Lord. And his wife. We walk hand in hand, professing our love for each other. Everyone in that auditorium knew it would never be the same again, but you can move forward without forgetting the past. We never could seem to make it work, but that was okay because we had each other. Those that left today left knowing they can triumph in severe pain. Chad, he gave me a lot of hope through everything. When dealt a bad card, just draw again. Kylie Watson was there, but out of the spotlight, finally able to smile and laugh with her family. She's 11 years old. And she's got a lot of years in front of her. And in a moment not seen by many, it wasn't words that eased the tension. It was a simple hug from father to son. In Greenville, Jess Rates, 14 News. Jess.